developing tonight, Kyron Horman's stepmom is facing additional charges in California. Terry Horman is accused of domestic violence. Her former boyfriend has filed for a restraining order. He says she threatened him with a knife. NBC 5's Elizabeth Ruiz has been looking into these latest updates. That's right. She joins us live with more from the former boyfriend as well as reaction from Kyron's mother, Elizabeth. Craig and Natalie, Kyron Horman went missing back in 2010. His stepmother, Terry Horman, has never been charged or named as a suspect, but she has continued to be a focus for investigators. Now the new charges are throwing Horman back into the spotlight. I think that her time is running out, and I think she knows that. Um, we're getting closer and closer to her, and I think that she, um, rightly so, should be scared. Kyron's mother, Desiree Young, has long been suspicious of Kyron's stepmom, Terry Horman. Horman appeared on Dr. Phil earlier this year to explain she doesn't know what happened to her seven-year-old stepson after he disappeared from his Portland area school. For a long time, Kyron's case was the only reason people heard about Terry Horman. Now, though, she's back in the news, facing charges and a restraining order in California. Earlier this week, NBC5 learned she's accused of stealing a handgun from her roommate in 2015, then failed to appear in court. Now, we're learning a judge is ordering a temporary restraining order on Horman for claims of domestic violence. A Sacramento man who describes himself as Horman's former domestic partner says, I'm fearing for my life. I don't even know what she is capable of doing. She put a knife, a kitchen knife, to my face and threatened something is going to happen to me or my family if I spoke to police. After learning about her latest claims of domestic violence, Young told us in an email, I'm extremely concerned that someone else will be hurt by Terry Horman before she is put in jail. She goes on to say, I believe that we need to hold her accountable for all that she has done up to now. She needs to know that she is not above the law. Horman has two hearings scheduled for next Friday, one in Sacramento for the restraining order and another in Yuba County for the gun charges. Live in studio, Elizabeth Ruiz, NBC5 News.